Well, hi everybody, it's Sandy. Welcome to the third and my favorite so far installment in my faith book series. And this one, even if you're not a person of faith, you might actually really enjoy. I hope you do because I got to paint a bear. I have had the song, All Creatures of Our God and King, stuck in my head, the old hymn. And I just keep seeing a bear every time I think of the song. So I thought I got to get this out of me. So I stayed up very late one night painting and I'm using Brusho, believe it or not. Brusho is an amazing product. It's a watercolor powder. I've done some videos on that before and I will link to that in the description down below. Um, at the end of the video, you can go check that out if you want to see more about the powders. But I took some fluid paper. This is 12 by 12 pad by the company Fluid and started drawing in my just the eyes and the nose, just sketched them in really roughly, painted them with clean water and shook the powder into the clean water. Because what that does is put the powder in, in the areas that I want it and any area outside of it, as long as there's no moisture, the powder should not stick, or at least it should not stick very much if so. So I, I did a lot of going back and forth to try to get the eyes to look realistic because I wanted some areas in this painting to be really realistic so it actually looks like a bear. And then other areas I want to get really washy. So I'm using a couple different techniques here to try to achieve that look. For the snout, I wanted it to be yellows. So I have two different yellows that I'm sprinkling on and the, you can see the water is only in that snout area. It's not anywhere else on the paper and I've painted around the, the nose itself so I can open create that open area to put the black powder. I did a little spritzing, sorry the camera died on me for a moment and didn't tell me so it didn't capture the spritzing, but I'm drying it really well so that when I start working on the nose and on the other areas, then none of that powder should stick to that very dry yellow center area and his nose will stay the right color. Otherwise, if it's damp, then any powder that Kind of shakes beyond where it's supposed to go will end up getting into that that nose area and I didn't want that. So I painted with gray for the base coat on his nose and heat set that so then on top of it I could paint the nostrils. This is the other section for me that was really important to make sure I got detail in so I shook black into the nostril areas and I could have left it just like that but I decided to push the color around a little bit and I pushed it too far and then I ended up making one giant nostril. So I did fix that in a few minutes here, but uh, one of those things that you learn as an artist, sometimes you gotta fix what you mess up as you go along. So I just dabbed off a little color and look, we have two nostrils again. Yay, so our bear can breathe. And then I decided to paint the mouth on and this is where I started trying to let go and not retain quite so much control and just let the brush do its thing. So I started spraying water to carry the color around. The rest of the painting now, I'm gonna be adding some details like right around the eyes where I want the color to start. But then as it moves to the outer edges of the painting, in all of these other areas, you're gonna see me just use the spritzer to guide the water to push outward. And I, I'm just careful not to let some of that powder go to the inside because Again, I want to keep that nose area nice and yellow. But I started adding other colors and I got so excited. Oh my gosh, blue and purple in a bear, in a grizzly bear that's brown. Oh my gosh, it was just way too fun. And watching the color go on and the colors morph all over the place just made me happy. So I'm really excited about doing more with this kind of technique and doing more paintings. And for now, I'm just gonna turn on some music though, so you can enjoy that and watch the rest of this and I'll meet you back here as soon as the bear's all done.
Now I realize there are going to be some people who are horrified that I have put my words to the hymn and my journaling right on top of my bear. <laughs> I realize that. However, this bear has given me the inspiration that now I could actually do a really big painting and I want to get some ginormous watercolor paper and paint a really big bear for my wall and get it framed. I think that would be amazing. So stay tuned. If that happens, it's going to be on my blog probably. I don't know if I'll do another video of coloring a bear, but I've got my my lyrics to the hymn in the letters and then my journaling is just me praising God for the things I'm praising him for right now. These are the other two in the faith book series so far and if you'd like to check those out please do. The links to all the products are in the description down below as well as a link to the brush show videos that I've done so that you can see more on the product. I'll see you guys later. Take care and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.